Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, um, I must first um, indicate to the member for Kashi South is that I think he did very good with time considering how lengthy this bill is. Um, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Deputy Speaker, um, I must indicate that there are very many progressive elements in this bill, a lot of them. But I think there's quite a few areas that are concerning and obviously over time the department, the minister, will hear from the stakeholders as to how some of these things will affect their business going forward. Um, as he mentioned during the closing part of his contribution, the member indicated one of them, for example, was the high cost of living, high cost of doing business in St. Lucia. I'm very happy that that came to the fore because I remember in a previous life, you know, one of the things that um, was looked at very critically when um, trying to assist some of these entities was the ability to manage some of these high costs of uti utilities, particularly um, electricity. But there's something, Mr. Speaker, and um, I, should, I should confess that I, I will not be very long in, in my um, delivery, but there's something that concerns me. Um, and the minister, or the member rather for Castro South, spoke in several ways towards the, the issue, but he never really hit it. And I'm referring to the environment um, as to the merits and the merits of um, various stakeholders and how they can be rewarded and how they can be um, also um, penalized. I remember, Mr. Deputy Speaker, what, 35 years ago, when I first visited the UK, and I remember going to one of these fast food um, outlets, and my cousin who took me to the, to the outlet indicated to me that one of the, the laws regulating these entities was that they were obligated to keep a certain circumference around their building clean and neat and tidy and ensure that any wrappers or boxes or anything with their logo could not be seen within that circumference or they would be, they would be penalized, they would be charged. And so long ago, Mr. Speaker, that has always stuck with me as it relates to how various corporate entities get away with so much in, 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 our, small, in our small island. And while you may visit some of our hotels that are right on the beachfront and you will say, wow, an immaculate beach because they have people taking care of their immediate surroundings, I think we need to go a step further in rewarding some of these, particularly the larger um, stakeholders, where they can adopt a beach that's not necessarily um, next to their place of operations and have a crew every now and then, you know, to go and, and, and um, address the environment. And, and not necessarily beach, but, you know, a couple of miles away from their, their business. And they could get points, they could get merits um, for, for that. I think it's, you know, we should kind of hone it into the environment in some of the, the merits that we would want um, some of these stakeholders to address. Because we cannot just have the, 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 the entity taking care of the immediate surroundings and so many other areas in St. Lucia when our visitors mm -hmm. go to, you know, they see it as so untidy. And one of the things, you know, maybe they should also encourage programs and to, to, to not just speak to um, keeping St. Lucia clean for tourists, but for ourselves, you know, and I spoke about it in our last sitting, the, 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 we must Endanger, uh, uh, engender a, a, a feeling of pride in our community, in our people, and a lot more needs to happen now, more than ever, with the, the, the young people growing up, to create that sort of spirit of, 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 of pride. We're celebrating 45 years this year of independence, and sometimes people still feel it's okay, you know, because it's not in my backyard, I can just throw something out of a vehicle. So. I, th I thought that maybe the whole issue of um, 
incorporating the upkeep of our environment, not necessarily in the immediate surroundings of, uh, of, of, of these um, stakeholders that we speak to, should somehow be incorporated into the whole legislation to encourage that sort of um, behavior um, and education for our people. Um, that being said, Mr. Deputy, I thank you.